Hey everyone, I'm Alfred, and welcome back to Tribunal. Likely the last episode. Uh, as with everything else, they couldn't be bothered to make an overworld to connect all of these different disparate locations together. So we're going to talk to Alma Lexi and she's going to teleport us what to the Clockwork City. Do for you, so this all must be stopped. Child. Must be stopped. I'm prepared to go. Yep, there you go. Here we go. So, of course, the area is called Zotha Cell, huh? Vivek's got a city named Vivek. So the cell has allegedly a city. It's the clockwork city, but. Man, the fact that this thing works as a source of light is pretty fantastic. I also love that it looks like a golden blade, but it's actually steel. I love how bad the lighting rig is as well. Holy shit. We Skyrim now, boys. <laughs> okay, it works. Man, Mr. Sill, gotta say... Don't really think you've been uh, keeping your stuff up enough. You can lock yourself in. That's funny. Big old clunks. So I don't know how much time you actually spend in there, but I have been told that one of the expansions for The Elder Scrolls Online is called the Clockwork City, and presumably you go back there and get to meet So the Sill in his prime. In addition, presumably, to meeting Vivek in his prime. I'm still not over the fact that, like, they've put so many things into making Elder Scrolls Online work. Because, like, I was literally just thinking recently about how personal these stories are, you know? You are... Did those guys just get hit by the things? That's funny. I like that. You are the Nereverine. You are the Dova King. Like... Apparently, though, it has the same plot as Oblivion. And by plot, I mean, like, the villain's plan is the same. And considering that of everyone, the hero of Kavash is possibly the most generic and the least special of anyone. Because, like, they aren't predisposed towards anything. They're just associated with working for the Empire. Which is also the case for uh, the Imperial Agent in Daggerfall. <laughs> Whoops. And, like, I guess that those are the only Hall of Delirium. Were you expecting trouble when you named it that, bud? And, like, I guess, like, the games where you work for the Empire more? Because in this game, like, yes, you are technically an agent of the Empire. But, like, your one contact to it fucks off halfway through the middle of the game. It's got these fuck rods. A lot of blood there, gotta say, not a fan. Was that the sill against doorknobs, do you think? Or, I guess this might actually make sense. Did he have so many dangerous things that he had to make sure that they couldn't just open the door? Like, these are velociraptors, and according to Jurassic Park, they can open doors. 
Granted, these are Robo Velociraptors, but that also means that they can open Robo Doors, making them even more of a liability. I think it's probably that Todd wanted to show off more of the Dwemer stuff because nobody went in there. How much damage is this thing doing? A maximum of 60 on a slash and an extra 30 points of fire damage. Compared to... Eh. Oh, this is frost damage as well. Well... This is a max damage roll of 90. Which is enough to kill me in, uh... Four-ish, like, swipes. Those aren't... Oh, this just leads here. Well, I'm glad I went that way, then. I wonder what these things are for. Is it just that they barf sparkles? Is that what they do? I'm now on my 24th... Central gear works. It's so purpley in here. What the hell? Well, it... Oh, it's so purple that this orange, the orange of the lava looks like brown. Although I don't know why jumping in it was a good idea anyway. I was like, mmm, chocolate milkshake. <laughs> Bashed door. Will this hurt me if I stick my face in it? Ah. Heavy metal door leading to the Hall of Thuda. This fabricant... Like, is this still a fabricant? Look, it's like made of meat. In fact, it's like mostly... Is this thing... You'd probably argue is mostly robotic. But I guess looking closer at it, it has a lot of organic parts on its body. But I guess your brain kind of glazes over it. This thing, though, it's got the tail... It's got that part of its leg, and I think that's kind of it. I mean, like, they're all about how, like, man, so the cell, more advanced than the Dwemer, you need, you need to be a god to make these, but it's like, he's just Frankensteining things. He's making cyborg animals. We're at the Dome of Casia. What is this place? I feel like I'm in Black fucking Mesa. Like, is this that stupid crate smashing room? I think it is. Will this kill me? <laughs> sure will. Now, I'm not sure what the intended way to do this is. Maybe there's a little catch that you can do to, uh... It doesn't. Well, funny you say that. Because I don't have a backup plan. Oh, that thing counts too? That sucks. I'm not seeing a way to jump over it. This is unique. I've never been stumped like this before in an Elder Scrolls. Huh.
This is the door. Mm-hmm. Weird and spooky. That pole would not have enough velocity to kill somebody. Especially if you're the messiah like me. See, the blades make sense. I'm fine with that. That's not my problem. I've got an idea of how to beat it, but I am curious as to how you're supposed to. Oh. I was wrong, in fact. So, uh, this stuff apparently buffs your speed. There it is. Go, go, go. Damn. All right. Gonna need a few more of it. speed. Go, go, go. Uh. Is it because I'm not jumping enough? Or do I need to go earlier? Get in! Woohoo! Ah, I'm so cool and hot. I know that normally you would say that, well, aren't those antonyms? I'm such a cool fellow, uh, interesting and fascinating and radical fellow, in fact, that they aren't. A rest of me, you could say. Huh? Look at that. These are cool wall textures. I'll come out and say it. Oh, wow, it snaps shut up. Now what I'm hoping I'm not going to read here is that I don't need to use mark slash recall. of the vermicious kids. It might just be Nid, but 
Look, Rodol spelled that with a K. I'm gonna pronounce that, damn you. Such a big load of damage. How's this thing looking? It's a, it could be a little higher up. Actually, let's. Elon's ward is at 79. It is now at 68. Elon's ward is now at 74. And our sword is at 33. Another big purple room. Listen, a necessary way to make a bridge. So this is Hall of Milifieto. One of these big old Todd doors. It's easier just to click on the block. What's wrong, bud? You stuck in the door? Time to get poked. All it has is constant effects. That's both. That's fantastic. Because, like, the demon mace that I was using for a while, I was mostly just using it because it's an ebony mace. But, like, the ability of the mace is that it summons a mace. Dome of the Imperfect. of the imperfect. Radical as shit. The face looks like a dark elf. In fact, I think this is just a stretched out dark elf face. All the other textures are either new or very well disguised. Because this isn't just a big old Dwemer Centurion or Automaton. This is, you know, its own thing. Except for the face. I, I'm pretty sure the face is... Yeah, I'm pretty sure that face is a... Uh, Dunmer mug. Elisota... You may notice that his arms have been stripped to the bone and don't contain any flesh. Neither does uh, any of him. Is that because of all of the cool technology stuff he did? No. You found the body of Sir the Sill, his lifeless hunk dangling from a contraption of his own making. Someone has obviously been here before you. 
So yeah, um, we don't have any evidence of So the Cell in the main game because this is where this is what he is. But we have finally met the third member of the tribunal, and uh, counts. I got him. The god's body has been ravaged by powerful forces. Wow. So. Uh, Hmm. Oh. Darabarim. Here it ends. This clockwork city was to be your death. You were to be my greatest martyr. The heroic Darabarim, sacrificing all to protect Morrowind from the mad Silver Sill. But you live. You live. Fear not. I will tell the tale myself when this is done. I will tell He's my people like how, with man. your dying breath, you proclaimed your devotion to me, the one true God. Your death will end this prophecy and unite my people again under one God, one faith, one rule by my divine law. The puppet king will lay down his arms and bow to my will. Those who do not yield will be destroyed. The mazed band has allowed me to travel to this place. Here I slew Sothasil. Here I summoned the fabricants to attack Mournhold. I will be the savior of my people. I alone will be their salvation. None may stand in my way. Not you, and certainly not Vivek. He is a poet, a fool. I will deal with him when I have finished with you. And so thus soon. He always thought himself our better, shunning us, locking himself in his hole. He spoke not a word as he died, not a whisper. Even in death he mocked me with his silence. But I think you will scream, mortal. For now, you face the one true god. You know, of all the video game villains to say, I'm the one true god. One who is in fact already a god saying it. Has a, a bit of a credence, I would say. Now... I don't know if this is on her or on me, but she literally has given me a sword that, in her own words, says, can kill a god. Wow, she's strong. I guess it makes sense. Hey, wouldn't this be ironic? It would be. It would be funny. Unfortunately, not to be. Uh-oh. Can I leave? Huh. <laughs> That's uh, pretty funny. Right. I'm Alexia. Mazed Band and Hope's Fire. The matching sword to True Flame. Uh, and it does lightning instead of shock, and it does more chop, I think. Or no, it does the, it does it does pretty similar damage. It actually goes better with this outfit though. And 
Now she's gone. Omelix is dead in my hand. God has hoped to make me leave here dead and martyr to her cause. See and so the cell both lie dead in what is left of the thing. Okay. Uh, teleport to where? You feel a powerful voice interrupt the mazed band spell and pull you towards Mournhold. Oh. That's really cool, though. Anything to you guys? Uh, Omelexia is healing. Uh, I found so the still dead and killed Omelexia. I found all three of them dead. You're a foreigner. Uh, whatever. Mornhold, city of light. Where am I going next? That reminds me, did I get that soul? Don't think I did. I probably didn't have a big enough gem for it. That's okay, though. Oh. Hi. You have done well, mortal. The death of Armalexia is a boon for all of Morrowind, though it may take time for this to be understood. She would have betrayed the Dummer as surely as she had betrayed all those whom she loved. This was her curse and her undoing. Weep not for Sothasil. He shed his mortality long ago, and I am certain his death was no small relief to him. These gods lived with the burden of a power no mortal was meant to possess. Your work in Morrowind is not finished, Nerebarine. Vivek still lives, but I believe his time grows short. Protect my people. Defend these lands. The skies of Mournhold are clear once again. Hey, they are. Let these people suffer no longer. Now go, mortal. Embrace your destiny and go with my blessing. Da, 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 da. All right. Thank you, Azura. Man, Azura be staying, like giving out rings and shit. <laughs> There is someone Go ahead, Outlander. What do you I need? Neato. May our lords be merciful. <laughs> May I help you? Hell yeah. All right. <laughs> Two thirds of the tribunal are dead. Like, it's gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unlocked. We don't communicate without the heart. Our divine powers must diminish. She takes her divinity very seriously. And the lost weighs on her. She tends to brood. I fear she will do herself another's harm. I see. I see you know something you choose not to say. That's your right. Perhaps I do not have to be a prophet to imagine what it is you do not say. That is sad. I presume she killed Sothisil. I thought she might harm me. I presume she tried to kill you. It's all very sad, but death comes to all mortals, and we are very mortal now. In time, death will come to me, Nerebarine, perhaps even at your hands. It's futile to deny one's fate, but nonetheless, I'm afraid I find it all very, very sad it should end this way. Something that began in such glory and noble promise. 
Maybe even by your hands. He knows. Wouldn't it be ironic if I killed him with this? Oh, he still has that. And the gods are all dead. That rock should be falling out of the sky any second now, huh? <laughs> Alright, um... Well, the Rhetoran compound is constructed. So I've got a fortress. Uh, on the merit of you kill it, you bought it, I'm now in charge of House Tilvani. All of the city of Vivek, Mornhold, and the Sothisil. Um, I've killed three gods, but let's say that I killed So the Cell as well. Um, <coughs> so yeah, um, Again, this is another common problem with Elder Scrolls, but I'm kind of running out of things to do here. I could go do the Mages Guild, but I don't really have interest in it. It'll be a lot of stuff below my pay grade. You know? No offense, it's just I don't really need to care about it. You know? Someone else will figure it out. Of course, typically this is the time that you would restart your game. And truly, that's a very beautiful, fun thing to do. It's a lot of fun to just reset your game and play some more. It's great, you know? I love that. Um, and like at this point, I am, in fact, already thinking about my next playthrough. However... There is a few more things. That we must do before. You know what, I'll keep this on me. Not the worst altercation I've had with my ex-wife. Certainly the most violent out and away, but. What should I even put on? Ain't got a thing to wear. You know, if I committed a crime in any city besides Mournhold, I don't think that anyone could actually put a stop to me. We'll listen out, man. But make it quick. Die. You survived? Oh, that makes sense. Still only got 40 bounty off of that. That's pretty funny, I think. Ah, yes. What is it? Um. I guess we should just find anyone and say, Solstheim? Uh, Bolt from Cool, if you have any reason to go. Well, I certainly, certainly do. Let's just... Where's Cool? Jesus. Cool. Very high up there. I had to do a lot of either Fighter's Guild or Rhetoran Guard uh, quests there, so I'm quite familiar with the area. Specifically in the trek from... Uh, one area to the next. Where would you like to go? 
Uh, Soul's time, thank you. I don't, I... Boat. Look around the gold, uh, docks for server. His boat can get you there. Thank you. So, um, I'll be honest, most of my knowledge about Blood Moon comes from the fact that it is in Skyrim. I have also not played this DLC, although I feel like I will know a lot more about it just on the merits that I uh, have played a game that features it as well. There is no escape! <laughs> you know, the funny thing is is that I don't get more bounty for that. They don't add more to my crime. It's just the initial crime, and that's it. That's all the trouble I get in. Isn't that funny? Soul's time. The docks. Three blessings, Sarah. Uh, we're actually all out of blessings, wouldn't you know? All three gods are dead. Isn't that funny? Oh, it's a cat. Harry, oh, Harry, last boat to Soul's time. Oh, I'm still the next one. Uh, I killed <laughs> all these guys. Makes a sense of the thing. Are you mad? Go to the temple and pray the shrines for your soul. Can I be cured? You must be locked away for your own good. Yes, Outlander. What do you want? Well, um... Oh, it's been loud for the past couple of minutes. I'm sorry. I turned it up so we could hear Om Alexia and later Azura speak, but unfortunately I didn't turn it down. Um... Wow, yeah, so normally it would be the time to reset your game and play all over from the start, but in this case, we've got one more battlefield. I don't know how to spell it, so I'm just going to add more and spell it wronger. -er. And then we'll come back and do that in a couple of months. I know not when. Um, although, might be in November to celebrate 10 years of Skyrim. We'll be going back to Solstheim. Back, but, you know. Um, oh my god, I just realized the whole thing was off-centered. All through the fucking outro. All through the last episode. How long has it been like that? <sighs> Whatever. Anyway, uh, I've been Alfred. This has been Tribunal. The DLC for the Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind. We've beaten it, and we've killed uh, three gods now. Four if you count Soth the Self. Like, his death was kind of our fault. Because, like, we powered up all Alexia. Whatever. Point is, I'm Alfred, and that's short for El Friedrich. And while I am technically finishing an LP, this does not feel complete to me, because there's a lot of stuff ahead of us. But, until then, uh, I'll see you guys later. Uh, I've been Alfred. Have a good day. Thank you.